Hello everyone, today I will be talking about how to use every game pass so you don't flop based on my opinion so don't attack me please. We will start with the cheapest game pass in the game. Esther McHaleson, she may be the cheapest but she is definitely not weak. To start, first you need to find some free characters to sacrifice and activate your protection spell so you don't die easily. Then you should start channeling Bennett Witches for higher magic. At this point, you can turn any game passes into an original or rip their heart out now. If you try to turn them but it did not work, that means they're either immortal or have greater magic than you. Most of Esther's offensive spell or keybinds have really, really far range. So she have the advantages from far away when killing someone. For example, the crow attack, choke, and the aneurysm spell, they have extremely long range. When Esther resurrect herself after being killed, you should immediately cast the self-protection again in case enemies attack you again. When you get teamed up on by a bunch of people, you can just teleport away with the teleport keybind that Esther has. She can perform her sacrificing spell again even if she already did it before. In the recently update, Esther got a new pentagram keybind, which is also a really good keybind. To use this keybind properly, you should first trap yourself and the enemy with you in a fire circle and then activate the pentagram so they can get damaged over time. Don't forget to do extra damage spells. Also, another good technique is to possess someone's body and use it to attack everyone around you because while in someone else's body, the person that get damaged is the person you possess, except if your enemies do area attack abilities. The next game pass is Dark Josie. Dark Josie is definitely really strong because she have a lot of AoE abilities or mass attack abilities. It is really easy to use her as well. So when I play as her usually I will do two types of attack. One is single target and one is the crowd. When I attack one person specifically I will turn them to stone and perform every high damage abilities Dark Josie has. And because they got turned into stone they cannot fight back while you can do everything on them. Or you can put them to sleep too but it's better to turn them into stone. And when I do my second type of attack, also known as the crowd, I first use Earthquake causing them to fall on the ground and I will use the Mass Pain spell. Next, I will use Explosion Keybind and end up with Red Lightning Area spell. You might be wondering why I did not use the Japanese spell. I do use it, but when I perform the Explosion Keybind, everyone flew away already, so the chances of the Japanese spell hitting everyone is really low. Plus, the Japanese spell does less damage than the Explosion Keybind, so I use Explosion. After using all these mass abilities, your magic is already got lowered, so you should do your advanced siphon to regain all of your magic instantly. When you have low health and currently being attacked by someone, I suggest teleport away or go invisible and run to somewhere safe, then heal yourself. Dark Josie also have an extremely annoying spell, and it is the Prison World Banishment spell. When people got sent in the Prison World, it took so long to teleport outside, and it is very annoying too. This is the third cheapest Game Pass Freya. Now, a lot of people I've met who underestimated her and think that she is weak because she can be killed too easily. But Freya is insanely strong if you know how to use her properly. Let me start off by telling you almost all of her offensive spell have infinite range. Her cardiac arrest keybind deal insanely high damage while having infinite range. And it can also be used on someone while they're knocked down. Her advanced pain infliction also have infinite range. The Salt Barrier Trapping spell can disable the target's abilities while being in it. This spell also have long range. At this point, you can just kill anyone with Freya while being across the map away from them. Being far away from your target help you to avoid any damage coming from them. Her Astral Projecting spell is also good since other can't use spell on you unless it is an area spell. Freya also have an annoying Pendant Trapping spell just as annoying as Dark Josie Prison World spell. With her pendant trapping spell, she can send people inside her pendant and then she can go in the pendant herself. Their abilities will be disabled being in the pendant while Freya's abilities is usable. That make Freya able to kill them while in the pendant. And of course, Freya's summoning spell will summon the target inside her salt barrier which will also disable their power. Freya's barrier will also protect her from all harm as long as she keep it up. Freya have her own downside. She can heal other people, but she can't self-heal. Most importantly, her magic regeneration take away her health slowly. But it shouldn't be a problem if you are channeled to someone. Davina Claire. She is absolutely strong. She have a lot of strong keybinds. Such as Blood Boil, it deals really high damage. She is perfect to attack a whole crowd. 
First, I used Storm and then Explosion and Fire Storm, then Mass Pain. This combo should either get Inaru to extremely low health or it could kill her. Her protection spell is really useful when this is activated. She's basically fully immortal for 60 seconds. The only problem in her combo is that the Firestorm Keybind took 1,000 magic and after finish doing the combo, you will end up in zero magic. But not to worry because in future update, Davina maybe will get a magic regeneration ability. Oh, and her desiccation spell is also good too. You can use this spell in situation like you got attacked by a vampire or hope at a place where there's only you and them. If you cast this spell on them, there will be no one to rescue or feed them blood, so they will be stuck forever there. Davina have a really good self-heal spell which can be used to save her life sometimes. When she get attacked by stronger witches, she can just wipe their memory so their abilities get disabled. This will help buy you sometimes to kill or escape them. Hellfire Queen Bonnie Bennett. Bonnie is good her bone break keybind have like one second cooldown so she can spam it. She have two spells that can kill Tribrid Hope if Hope is under 250 health. One is the Immortality Overpowering and one is Hellfire. I personally like Hellfire more because they have an extremely long range. You can end any species with this spell, not just Vampire like the other one, and it also take less magic than the other spell. When I have low health and got attacked by someone, I will use the Life Linking spell so if I die, they die too. Bonnie also has Stone Spell, which is even better because she can attack someone freely without being attacked back. My combo for her when I kill the crowd was Scream and then Mass Pain to stun them. This combo isn't so strong, but at least it can get them to have health. She is a Bennett Witch, which will give her access to the tomb to get the cure. This way she can get the cure and cure immortals like Hope. And of course, she have Prison World Banishment Spell. She have health and magic regeneration abilities, so don't need to worry about her stats. Recently, she got a new spell which allows her to create Storm. This spell is good to add in the combo I just told you too. When I want to kill someone as Bonnie, I will probably will just use Hellfire to end them from across the map, or stone them and use whatever abilities I have until they die. Now for Ketsia. Ketsia is very strong. Her blood boil and choke keybinds deals like 250 damage each move and they have infinite range. That means you can kill almost everyone except Inaru with these two moves. And to kill the crowd first, you should use her garden spell and then do Ashalana. Then outburst and end up with fireball. Same as Bonnie Ketsia have stone spell, life linking, and access to the tomb. First, you should make yourself immortal with Ketsia spell, and then after becoming immortal, go to the tomb and take the cure. This way, no one will be able to cure you until the cure spawn again. And since Ketsia have Inadu's totem locator spell, she can find Inadu's totem and destroy it. I don't usually use the life linking spell because as Ketsia, I'm already immortal. Her curse spell have infinite range, but after the previous update, it can no longer be used on game passes. She can also kill Hope really easily first, you will make the cure. Then find Hope and turn her into stone, while Hope is a statue you can cure and kill her really easily. In the end, Ketsia is definitely still strong after her nerf and you should definitely get Ketsia. Inadu is a top tier witch in this game. First, you want to hide your totem somewhere really safe, but do not glitch your totem or you will get banned if someone caught you. Inadu is a monster in this game because her moves deals a lot of damage. So my combo goes like slam and then mass bone break, then summon rain and lightning, and then they should be dead. Another combo is spine break, then scream, and then choke, then slam. But this combo is for single target. Her heart crush have infinite range and it is an instant kill. She have really good spells. The original killing spell works on Hope if Hope have less than 250 health. The desiccation spell is useful on Hope as well. When your totem got destroyed, I suggest that is when you start life linking to another person so even if you die, you can drag them along. You can use the dagger to sacrifice someone for extra magic in case you want to go on a killing spree. And finally, Hope. She is strong if you know how to use her. First thing when you spawn, I suggest you should go get a blood bag as soon as possible in case you get turned. 
Hope have a lot of area attack spells and key binds, but mostly spells. Normally, when I use Hope, I don't usually go for the crowd because Hope has a lot of way to die in this game. So I usually go for single target. If you want to attack the crowd, you should not try to make sure everyone is dead, but just spam your area and run away as soon as possible. Because if you get caught by Bonnie or Inadu, there are chances of you getting killed. For the single target combo, first use the Body Explode spell that Hope got in the recently update. It is a really good spell because it does high damage and knock people down for a long period of time. While they got knocked down, use your left over to kill them. For the crowd combo, first use your Scream and then use Ignis and then Blood Dart spell. If you want to add Repulse, you can. After doing that combo run away from people, the reason why I did not include Japanese spell is the same as Dark Josie because the Repulse will make everyone flew away, therefore your chances of hitting everyone with the Japanese spell is really low. When spawning as a werewitch, you should be aware of Esther turning you into an original vampire. And when you are a triber, be careful when your health is below 150. Bonnie or Inadu might kill you with their spell. And also be aware of getting cured too. Overall, Hope is still really good. Not to mention she will get a huge buff in the next update. Okay, that is it. Thank you all for 500 subscribers. Goodbye for now.